YouTube and my subscribers, JC18904 here with part two cleaning video on the Traxxas T Max. Now, what you want to do is simply just take and go over your shocks. I've already done these ones on this side. So, what you want to do for this side is just simply start here on the back where your bumper mount is and just simply clean on this part of the bumper now if you've already done the other side like on here you don't have to worry about this part now after you get this here pretty much cleaned out with all the dirt and debris just go down here and get inside here and after you get inside there you ought to be ready to go on the back. Now, what you want to do is just make sure you get that really clean because you do not want anything being clogged up. Now, I'm going to get the shock tower here on the back so you guys can see this. Now, after you pretty much get the whole shock tower clean on the back just simply take a q-tip and go all around your electrical connections in here now I'll do that for you guys so you guys can see I'll do this but just make sure that when you clean the T-Max you do not use any kind of chemicals the best thing to use would be this soap or maybe some uh, do not use bleach or anything like that. This soap I recommend, but if you want, you can take mask everything off, like your motor and your transmission gear and your electronics if you got batteries sticking up out of it. And you should be set to go. And also your filter. You do not want to spray anything on your filter. But it shouldn't hurt the servos because they're pretty much sealed but this is the 27 megahertz also so you guys know that now I found that out for you guys that the 2004 is a 27 megahertz nothing wrong with that though but make sure you get inside of here and all around here because all dirt can be hiding and all this now for the motor there's a wires that come up through here now what you want to do just simply get down here around the motor I'm just going to go all around the connections here I'm not trying to try to get it down that hole I'm just going to go all over the outside of the motor and down here in the back now down here there's a gear cover looks like and you want to make sure you get that clean also because that could probably catch something on fire so your exhaust has a lot of like dirt or something on it where it's been sitting but it's not too dirty so what I'm going to do is simply just tap some of this this water out. Then I'm gonna take this toothbrush and go over on the outside of the motor. It wouldn't hurt because this should not hurt the motor any. And you see it's really dirty. Also this will help keep your motor cool by having your fins clean. So you want to make sure you get them fins really clean. Make sure you just go all the way around it the best you can. If you want, you can move your hoses out of the way. So you can get down in there. But just make sure that you get them fins really clean. Because that also will help keep your motor cool when you're running it 
Now I want to clean the inside of the murder with just a real damp Q-tip. I'm just slightly going to dip it down the wall. Just clean water. And I'm just simply going to go around here on top of the murder and simply get the inside here. Make sure there is no dirt any kind of particles down in there which it doesn't really appear to be that dirty so that seems alright now after you move on from that take your toothbrush again and go underneath as a nitro tank and clean this out now some of this may require Q-tips, so what I want to do is take another clean Q-tip and go back underneath here on the fuel tank. And after you get your fuel tank pretty much clean underneath, should be alright. It doesn't appear to be too dirty, but right here it really is. So I'll make sure I get this clean also. Which after you get that pretty much clean, now just do your outer lip. That's right here. And look at how dirty that was. Now after you get your truck pretty much clean on the outside part, take a Q-tip like this and take a either like a razor blade and just trim some of the edges off of it. Because there's dirt down here, so what you want to do is just simply slide this back in there and turn it a little bit. Then just simply rinse it off in the water. And after you get that pretty much clean back in there, just make sure they get all around this. Because there could be like nitro residue from the fuel, like right in there. As you see, there's all black stuff. All I want to do is just simply try and clean all that out. As you can see, there's nitro fuel residue. And it's really thick there, so it's going to take a lot to get that off. But you will just want to. Pretty much trying to get that clean. Some of it's from the oil blowback off the road going underneath the truck. It can do that if you run it in a real strong wind or something. As you can see, it's really dirty in there. But then just simply take a dry Q tip and go all around that. After you've done that, Take your toothbrush again, go to the front shock tower, and do the back side of it. After you do this side, you can get it all around this servo holder right here. After you pretty much get that, as you can see, it's dirty behind them shocks right there so what I'm going to do is simply take this and go up in here like this then do the back side of these springs I haven't done this side on the front yet so what I'm just going to do is just do the same thing I did in the previous video before this just simply go all over this side again like this. I done the back ones. So I had this side to show you guys. Same way how to do the back ones. But there's a little bit more room back here. I haven't done the A arm yet, so I'll show you guys how to do that. But you can get in here all kinds of different ways. As you can see, that thing's really dirty. 
the shock. So what I'm just simply going to do is go over the outside first. Then when I get down close to the bottom again, simply just push in on a little bit to get the shaft. And do the outside of the A arm. And you can see it's really dirty in there. So what I'll do is just simply wrench it off again. Now this soap will help clean this because it does not have no chemicals in it. I think it's got is just like it's almost like hand soap, but it's got just a little bit more kick to it. So it'll get the grime out. So I want to simply get in here down the bottom. Now you can take these off just by simply pushing up on the bottom of it then pull it out. But I can't do it on this truck because the turnbuckle's in the way. But you can do it on the outside one, on this side. So what you want to do is just simply pull up then just simply slide it whichever way that the groove is on that. See, just simply slide it back. Then the spring should come out full length. And after that thing pops out, it should, if it's stuck on there from where it's been sitting, or if it's caked it with dirt, it won't come out as well. But as you can see, that thing's really dirty. So what I'm going to do is just simply take, just dunk it down the water, and clean it with my hand. still dirty. So what you want to do is just simply make sure just leave it, leave it set for a little bit and after you leave them set for a little bit you take put tire black on them and it will help them things wrench off after you take and put that tire black on it it will just wrench it off real easy all the mud and stuff now, as you can see, inside this shaft, there's all kinds of dirt in there. So what I'm going to do is just simply just go over this part down in here. Then I'm just simply just going to lay that in there because it's got nitro residue on it. You might want to wear safety glasses when you do this because if you get that fuel in your eyes like the oil or the residue from it it might burn the heck out of your eyes and it might mess up your vision for a while so just wear some safety glasses on that too but after you get that pretty much clean simply take the toothbrush like this just run this thing back and forth across the bristles. And this should be pretty much clean. Now I'm just simply going to wrench it off just to make sure. Which appears to be fine now. Now this thing will slide right back in the way it did before. So what you want to do just take one hand and pull the spring up, which I'm going to do this one-handed. Maybe a little tough for me here, so just bear with me. But I do pretty much get this spring pulled up out of the way. Should be pretty simple to do. That thing will slide up inside the spring. Then it should just simply slide right back down on the shaft of the shock. And you should be set to go. Now, you can comment, like, and subscribe. Remember, when you clean this, 
if you got batteries sticking out like this one does, just simply do it with a Q-tip. And for your transmission, it should be pretty much watertight. So you could probably run a toothbrush all over that, which I've done it in my video before. So after this thing's pretty much clean, Jason and I may think it'll look brand new. But just make sure that you get all the dirt out and some of your components will be slightly loose like this piece here. That's because that thing's for the brake. But just make sure that you get all your electronics clean and the shock towers. Now for the front bumper to clean it the same way as the back just simply go over like this and make sure that you get both sides on the inside now for the q-tip you just want to get inside here and make sure that there's no dirt in there either because dirt can make your screws bind up when they come out I've noticed so I'm just simply going to make sure that everything's clean here on the front like the A-arms the shocks are pretty much clean now now for the back for the AR so you guys can see this. You see how dirty that is now? Now I'm going to take a wrench this toothbrush off again. Then just simply take and go over these A arms. Then after you get your A arms pretty much clean, you could take tire blank and squirt it all over the shocks it wouldn't hurt take a ziploc bag and put wrap it around your motor your air filter and try to get one tucked in around the brush motor or just use a paper towel and you can simply probably just take your tire black and spray all over it but you want to take if you got yours box sealed, it shouldn't matter, but if you got batteries sticking up out it for rechargeables, just simply put a bag around the batteries, make sure that this ain't showing, and just simply just put tire block on it, it shouldn't hurt it. It won't hurt your servos because they're sealed tight, so you just want to make sure that everything's clean. Which this has just got a little bit of dust on it where I've had it sitting here. I've been busy making videos for you guys. But you just want to make sure that you also get the dry shafts also. I just use a Q-tip on them. Like this. I get down in there. This on the dry shafts. But after you get your dry shafts pretty much clean. You can take tire black and do them also. Now, no touch tire care works really great on this, by the way. If you can't get to something, use a Q-tip. If that still don't work, just trim the Q-tip down. Just take the uh, little cotton end of it off and use the paper towel around it. And just simply make sure that you get all the little grooves inside there. But that's how you clean a Traxxas T Max 2.5. Next will be no touch tire care added to the tires and the, the bottom part of the truck. And I'll do no touch tire care all over the front end of it so you have to see what that looks like and 
Comment, like, and subscribe. Tell me what you think. If you got any videos of what know how to do something, just post a comment down below or just send me a message. And we'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.